Hey guys, today I have another pallet full bags box. We're gonna open it up, see what's inside, and hopefully make something pretty with it. Well, I know we'll make something with it. We'll leave the adjectives for later. <laughs> hey look, they must have got sick of me calling these things maggots because they changed the color. They're blue now. Some blue maggots, but I can't see what's inside. Okay, we have a little plastic dish full of blue powder. Okay. Then, Sumi ink in black for drawing, painting, and calligraphy brushwork. So we got a dish, some ink, kiritake, stuff in a language I can't read. I'm wondering if this is a pen or just a brush, but we'll find out. Also, whoa, this feels cool. It's like made out of wood and it's like super light and it's got this little uh, ring, like a little loop-de-loop. -loop. <laughs> oh look, my fingers are turning blue. <laughs> Ooh, whoa. What is this brush made out of? That is a fiber that I am not familiar with. Also, we have, looks like dual tip markers, some kind of calligraphy pens maybe? Oh, they're not brush tip, they're chisel tip and fine liner. Get out of the way. Oh, here we have the list of supplies. And it looks like they supplied some paper. Oh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this out. It's like the exact same size as the box. Um, um, I don't wanna spill everything. Gotcha. Mineral paper, multimedia. Made from rocks instead of trees. Ooh, that's got an interesting texture. It feels super smooth. Like each paper has a wrinkle in a different spot. I don't know if you can see that. Like, is that showing up? I've never drawn on rock paper before. <laughs> this makes the game rock, paper, scissors kind of confusing if you can make paper out of rocks. Sorry. So I'm reading on here and it says Sumi ink. This is made out of pure vegetable soot with no additives or preservatives, which I think is really funny because it means we're going to be using vegetable goop or we're going to be spreading it on our rocks to create something illustrative. <laughs> Won't that be fun? Let's try out the colorful stuff first. They look like they're just your basic fine liners kind of, but they have a chisel tip on one end, which is cool. Fine point on one end and a chisel tip on the other. I don't know, people look like they know what they're doing when they like do these kind of swatches. <laughs> I just randomly draw <laughs> and hope for the best. So that's the black color. I like that color. That's like almost a potato brown. Ooh, did I get a dead marker? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nope, that's not good. I mean, that can happen if there's more though. <laughs> anyway, I was saying <laughs> the paper definitely feels different than any other paper that I've used before. It kind of feels like I'm drawing in mashed potatoes. Does that make sense? It feels soft. I think that's the word I'm looking for. It's like soft and like, I feel like it's grabbing so that like, it takes more <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's really quite interesting and I'm enjoying it, but I just can't describe it. And I love this color, by the way. I never know what to do with swatching pens. Like it's a pen, it makes marks. The chisel has two different shapes you can make. And you can also do this weird thing like this. Mm -hmm. There we go. I don't know why I did those vertically when I have a horizontal video, but there's that. <laughs> Here we have the I don't know what the brand is of these. That's always suspicious. Makes me think it's like a cheaper version of something when you can't see an outright brand name, but I think it's manuscript. The graphic design on here could use a little help. <laughs> yeah, they work as would be expected, except for the royal blue. So that's a dead, that's a dead pen, I would say. <laughs> that's unfortunate. I shouldn't even attempt to pronounce these things. Okay, so basically this is more made to look like a traditional Sumi brush, and then this one is like a modern take on it, so you don't have to like dip it, I guess. And I like the little loopy. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, wait, let me zoom in. And now look what you can do with it, like look. You can do something, oh man, I'm so shaky. You can do, <laughs> you can do straight lines, you can do some thicker lines. I bet you could get some real thick lines. Ooh, look at that. I bet you could get some different some lines while you're using it thicker and then thin again. It has a bit of like a dry, scratchy texture to it. I'm so bad with brush pens. <laughs> Today's going to be a struggle. Let's do, let's go all out now. I don't know if I should clean this out first. I'm sure it's fine. We're just spilling vegetable soot into it, right? Ooh. Ooh, how much do I need? I, I don't know, I'm scared. <laughs> that is dark. Whoa, okay. That's mesmerizing. Is anyone else like as intrigued by that as I am? It feels like it has life. Whatever, maybe I'm just stupid. Okay. <laughs> but this is apparently horse hair. There's just like little white ones in there. So I don't know if it's from a bunch of different horses. I guess that 
affects the texture. I don't like the way it squishes. Ew, I don't know. That creeped me out a little. <laughs> Let's put some of that on the brush. There's no way I can write something with this. Oh my gosh. Well, this is interesting. Oh, I like the texture when the ink starts running off of it. Definitely got a texture to it that you can't really control because there's all these like, you know, the horse hairs definitely like to do whatever they want. So you get like that funky texture. <laughs> oh, it's got little, oh, that is nifty for like a cheap little dish. It's got these little nubs on it. But hold your brush. <laughs> the little things that make me happy, I swear. Something I always forget to do is to test the materials together. Ooh, that one smudges. Ooh, gross. Good to know, good to know. Where do I find... Where's my demonstration video? Ah, hello Alice. You know what I'm getting vibes of when I'm doing this? <laughs> Did anyone ever watch, like on PBS, I think it was on PBS Kids, that show, um, is it called Sagwa? About like the Chinese cat, and, like she used her tail and she'd like write Chinese letters. Not that I know how to do Chinese letters, so. <laughs> but I used to like copy her with paintbrushes and that is what this feels like. It reminds me of that, I'm getting serious vibes. Anyway, we should try to make something pretty with this, right? That's what, that was the goal. That was the goal. Get out a new sheet. Maybe I should wait for this to completely dry before I try to finagle things around here. Right, so we've got our rock paper, got our vegetable ink, got our horse hair brush. So this box is based off the Japanese ink painting style of sumi. Sumie. Okay, it's Sumie. <laughs> you could say it properly. Where they do things like this. Oh, this is beautiful. So out of my art style, but I really want to try this. Okay. Sumie, we go. Because it looks like they used. I'm looking at what other professionals have done. It looks like they add water to their ink. My dog is adding water to his body. Can you hear that? That's my dog. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Like I said, that was really hard to get detailed lines with that brush, but it looks like Tsumie is a very simple type of art where you um, sort of use the fact that you can't get defined lines but still are able to create pretty cool shapes here, so let's try something out. I'm gonna keep everything pretty simple because we're gonna be using a very thick brush. I need an eraser. I need it! shouldn't be putting this much in detail into the face at this point. Bad idea. A tail maybe? <laughs> okay, so now since we're gonna be using this black ink, I want to figure out where I want all those dark tones to be. Her hair would be all in black. Probably some cool bangs would be fun. Those are some pretty serious eyebrows right there. And much like the one marker challenge, we want to try and keep the main tones away from each other. Oh, I just realized how far zoomed out I am. I apologize. If this cat ends up looking like a dog, that's my bad because I draw a lot more dogs. I really like the way the paper is interacting with pencil, like the smoothness and pigment I'm getting out of just a pencil. It's really, really nice. I'm really happy with this paper. <laughs> I just realized I forgot the other hand. Here we go. Put it here maybe. And there. This is probably looks more like a dog, but oh well. The body too big compared to the head. Little paw on her head. The other paw. Aww. This is something I've been really practicing over the last couple months, so this is making me very happy. Should I make it a Siamese cat? In honor of Sagwa, even though these are Japanese supplies and she was Chinese and my own sweater. Oh, it's a happy cat. I'm adding too many sketchy lines. That's not going to be helpful when I go down to the ink. <laughs> I'm not sure why I did piggy tails. It's kind of weird. Hey, if all else fails, this sketch was good at one point. I think we can agree with that. Maybe? Maybe? Uh, uh, maybe? <laughs> but now I need to pull these fingers up. Oops. It's better-ish. Better-ish. I think I want to give her overalls. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, not crazy about the hair. Okay, so this isn't erasing very well on this paper. I think it's because of that mashed potato-y stuff that I mentioned, that it's squishy. So the lead is getting stuck in there. See, so I'm not gonna have these extra lines to save me. So I need it to look good. The shape has to look good. This could be a real disaster if I don't do this right. <laughs> Let me give her a big dress that like fades into the ink. That could be a 
artistic, right? What does a Siamese cat look like? Oh, the ears are dark. Their little feet. Oh, they are cute cats. Holy moly. I love their tails. I think their tails are too. There we go. Well, I really like this sketch. <laughs> I think it turned out really cute. I'm going to pause this video because I want to take a picture of it. Save it forever. <laughs> All right, we're back. I didn't really accomplish what I wanted to with this, but I love it. So I really like this paper. I'm going to be using this. I might draw some things and then just place them into my sketchbook. <laughs> I wonder if I could use this color for my kitty cat's face. Ooh, I'm so nervous. I could use a save button or a control Z button. Oh, I'm gonna have to leave something white and it looks like the skin's probably gonna end up being completely white. So let's go in, let's do like some details with this and then we can fill in the rough shape with the, the vegetables. Okay, this is working. Do I want the other pigtail to show up over here? Guess I do, I just started doing it. <laughs> well, well, well. Fill that in with this, with the vegetables. Ooh, that's going to be very wet. It's going to take forever to dry. This is nerve wracking. Ooh, don't go inside the lines. Okay. Don't go inside the lines. Should have filled that in a little more with the other brush. But we're here now. Let's just get it done. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. I like it. I might just leave the pencil because I like it so much. I like the shading, even though it's not really sume, but we can definitely outline the cat, I bet. Even though I don't know where I'm gonna add the dark tones so much. You see the nosy? I feel like the eyes should be a little farther forward. Like this, like this, like this. Uh -huh. Maybe. <laughs> I probably should have erased the sketch a bit more before going in with this. So I'm kind of having a hard time seeing what I'm working with. That's still very wet. I can see how shiny it is. So I'm not even gonna go near that. Oh, I wish I didn't draw that line. I wish I had just done this instead. Mm. I guess I'll just outline everything. I don't know what I thought I was gonna do. <laughs> the reason I thought somewhere around this process I would just figure out what I was doing. But nope, I'm still kinda just going with the flow here. I'm really scared to go over the face because my hands are really shaky <laughs> and that's a very important part of the drawing. Okay, I want to actually add water, Ooh, more water, and try and not quite touch the tail. I can get closer with a different pen later, but I definitely want to leave some white space because that tail will probably end up being dark. Ooh, did you see how close I came? <laughs> yeah, look what's happening to the water. It's turning into vegetable soot. Oh, came a little too close there. But yeah, I want to like pull this outwards without as much ink. Maybe it'll fade a little bit. That's a little bit more of the sumi look, you know? Or sumi, sumi. I don't know. I looked it up and I forgot already. Ooh, that's kind of what I was looking for. And it's not the traditional look, I suppose. <laughs> Some uh, speckles. Like it just, like I just threw the ink on there and it just looked perfect the first time sort of thing. The brush like just keeps its shape. Like <laughs> it turned into a weird bloop bloop. Do I want to add color to this is the question. That is a very good question. One that I don't know the answer to. I really should use some colors though. I could just draw a rainbow behind her. Ooh, it's getting on me. Got vegetable goop on me. Think about using this brown one for the Siamese cat because it's so close to the colors. Because the Siamese cat is like a man vanilla kind of color and then it fades to a potato-y brown and then that fades to like a darker black. Well, I mean, I guess it's just a really dark brown maybe. But I could get away with it being brown, I bet, if I go over the pencil. Let's see what that looks like. So we got a kitty cat maybe here. And we have our kitty cat. And we have shading here, and it like fades out. And we have, oh, I don't want to touch this ink. Scooches. <laughs> we have dark ears, and dark near the face. And then the feet are dark. I don't hate it. Doesn't exactly look Siamese or anything. I wonder if I can blend that with some water. Why do I have such a hard time making these artistic decisions? You'd think I've made so many of them, but each one is harder than the last. Ooh! we go. Got some paintbrush. Gonna put some water on that. 
and uh, see if we can smooth this out a bit more. And then maybe we could actually use this black one for the ends of the tail and the ends of like the ears and the very center of the face and the very tip of the paws and blend that out with water maybe. Maybe, maybe. Hey, wait, I think I'm getting somewhere here. Does that look like a Siamese cat to you? Because it kind of looks like one to me. I think I'm ready to do that to this. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's add a little bit of that. I'm going to put this where it will be in sort of shadowy areas. Oh shoot, there's ink lines down here already. I didn't think about that. Careful. Ooh, this could be a disaster. Oh shoot. Let's have to avoid anywhere I did lines. Okay, and then I guess it should get darker. Something like that. In here as well. And then we need the black at the very end. Which we're gonna lose the little paws. Oh, Be gentle with the line art. Eek! Seems to be working pretty well. And the ears, I think, should go darker at the tips. Blend it out. There we go. It's definitely a little muddier than I would have liked because of <laughs> uh, the lines not being water resistant here, but... Oh, I didn't do the tail! How did I miss that? Let's do this differently. Let's go black first. And a bunch of brown. Thing, hopefully. Well, we should start at the top. And blend into the brown. Then blend the brown, and then blend into the black. Perfect. Okay. I mean, it could have done better. <laughs> we could have done better. Ooh, we could add some uh, blushies. Kind of want to just use orange. Maybe keep with that tone. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't line art the nose at this. Yeah. It's turning out really nice. I'm liking it. I'm glad I didn't go with the pink. Going with more of an, an analogous color scheme here. I could have actually just shaded her face in with brown, probably. Oh, I did get some ink in there. Oops. Now it looks like she's crying. Sad. Ooh, I love the weird uh, textures of the ink down here. That looks really, really cool. The way the water and the vegetable soot <laughs> is mixing. She loves her kitty but I don't love this horse hair. <laughs> there we go. Probably should have done that in the brown color, but too late for that now. The poor horsey's butt hairs. <laughs> it could have been head hairs, I don't know. It's just as weird. I'm actually really happy with this. I think it looks really good. <laughs> wow, mm, okay. Mm. This will dry a little bit more. I do want to do some more things, so I'll be back once this dries. Kind of? Is it dry? I think it's dry. I think it's dry. I'm gonna go over this with some white gel pens. So there's separation between the tail and the skirt. Highlight for his little nosy. If you don't remember this from my white gel pen review video, check that out. <laughs> if you wanna know what the best white gel pen is. This wasn't the best white gel pen, but this was the best for this scenario, I think. Ta-da! Okay, I'm really happy with this. <laughs> Let me know if you like it, if you like the way it turned out. Um, if you're interested in getting your own Palette Full Packs subscription, I'll have a link in the description where you can check out the prices and see which of their three tiers are right for you. But yeah, this was a lot of fun learning about a whole new art style that I'd never heard of, what sume. And uh, I didn't really do any lettering, but my hand is way too shaky for that. <laughs> I know how that will turn out. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching me create this, the process of drawing this little doody 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 -do thing. I don't know. <laughs> I hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now I'm done. <laughs> Bye.